All right, welcome back from that report. We are staying on the banking sector for today. The last time the CBA increased capital base for banks was in 2005, when the current Anambra State Governor, Charles Saludo, was the Apex Bank chief. The capital base was raised from $2 billion to $25 billion. To enable banks meet the new uh, minimum capital requirement, the CBA on Thursday urged banks to consider to inject fresh equity capital through private placements, rights issues, and or offers for subscription, mergers, and acquisitions and or upgrade or downgrade of license authorization. The Apex, also, Apex Bank rather, also said the new minimum capital shall comprise paid up capital and share premium only. It stressed that the new capital requirements shall not be based on the shareholders' funds. My guest, Ambrose Omodion, is the Chief Research Officer at the Invest Data Consultant Limited. Ambrose is a well-respected investment and company analyst with over 20 years of experience. He is known for his work as an equities analyst, his training sessions for investors and his weekly webinars. He is also a prominent expert on the Nigerian capital market, providing analysis and insights to investors, the government, and the market regulators. Ambrose Amodion joins me now to discuss the recent development and earnings of banks. Good morning to you, Ambrose. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, it is our pleasure. First things first, Ambrose. What were your initial reactions to this pegging when the news broke yesterday? Yeah, it's long, uh, you know, a week. We've been expecting it for, for more than uh, getting to six months now, from September to today. But it's good that the uh, CPN came out yesterday to make it clear that this is their direction. And put up that uh, they've done the right thing anywhere in the world. You no know, CPN has the uh, interest of the economy because they make sure that drive economy at any time, any day. With this uh, you know, step they are taking now, we want to solidify the bank at any time, drive the economy to work, to one trillion dollar that we are not expected to be. For me, it's a good one. For in doing all this, I think that uh, no party or no stakeholder should be worth to be shortchanged. Because if you look at the, you know, the, the announcement, we can find for anywhere in the world, when we're looking at uh, banks' uh, you know, capital base, we don't exclude you know, their retail earnings, which uh, we have seen in this form. But to go back to 2005, 2006, uh, during the uh, recapitulation of the uh, Solido, all this was also were factored and we saw improvement from almost uh, you know, uh, 82 banks, bringing up to like 22 banks after the recapitulation, which is good. We want that direction also. But now that we are saying that uh, the retail earnings is not there anywhere in the world, you know, retail earnings is part of all shareholders' fund, as part of all any bank base, uh, capital base. That means if uh, you know, your, uh, uh, your liability minus your, 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 your assets, you get your your, your net assets, which is also your shareholders' fund. But if it is excluded, most of the banks will also struggle to kind of uh, meet up the debate. But I believe that uh, across the world, we have seen different companies, different nations, you don't exclude your retail earnings. But banks have different categories, which also we have done here, you know, tier one, tier two, tier three, with different formulas. It is now done on the regulator to okay. go about what your capital you know, requirement and uh, you know, ratio or adequacy. Mm -hmm. These are the things, capital adequacy ratio. Oh. Because now I know that right. the regulator should also come about. But for this one that coming that yes, you no know, excluding uh, everything earnings, we are already sustaining the, the shareholders of this company that have denied themselves for many years, not collecting all the profits from work from the bank, mm -hmm. not reinvesting into the bank. It's part of what they are they are mm -hmm. Now also we are coming back to the public to approach them for another round of what public offer right to. These are people that want to invest again. That means next time we are making money also at the end of the day, they are retaining earnings for the bank to expand. It's not considered for me. I think uh, this area that we should also be looking at. Yes, if any, I would say they are they are wrong. They are they are great or they understand what they are doing, but I feel it go across the world, it is All not right. done or it is what I think for the first time. I'm, I'm trying to see where if you want to remove uh, your your retake earnings away from your capital base. I believe that it's part of it. Mm. But you no, know, we look forward to see more on mm. what CBN will be in of it. Because most of the banks in Nigeria, right. yes, you want them to be strong and be solid for, to impact the economy. But we need one thing, give them direction that also they will encourage also to get that money they need from the public. Because if we are going this way, the mm. best shareholders or um, in that company that have invested and they receive earnings are not considered now, most of the new that is coming, how they also right. have that in confidence. But I believe that this is going to look at what well. 
Okay, let's uh, quite try and gain, um, gain more traction, right? Let's try and uh, get um, to other grounds. Now, you will agree with me that the back-end sector is comparatively doing well, so to speak, at the NGX with an impressive uh, closing figure as at the last day of closing uh, yesterday. I don't know if uh, my director can just blast some of the NGS figures uh, that we have. You know, two banks really come to mind. Um, Access Bank uh, is at the top right now with the new management and all of that. But right now, I also see um, another bank, too, with a female uh, you know, CEO there, that's Fidelity Bank, uh, do, uh, also standing up per se, you know, how do you see them playing out in the uh, wake of all of this? Do you see uh, a capt recapitalization um, in the offering, or what exactly do you think about the earnings and all of that? No, for me, the banks have been resilient in terms of uh, performance and also in terms of supporting the economy. The numbers have since so far, you know, points with that uh, our banks are solid and strong, which they also is keeping our confirmed before now. But just for them to have more capital to do more business, that's why capital is to drive the one trillion uh, you know, expectation of the economy. But for now, our banks are healthy and strong. But what we're expect to do now with that is to, to make them stronger and better. But if you look at the banks that I don't mention, uh, assets and fidelity, I say yes, they are moving you know, Upper direction. You know that uh, uh, Fidelity for me is a second tier bank, but now with their performance, we are still coming out to know that now that we are still many second tier, but they are the leader in that second tier. Why assets on its own is also already in the tier bank? But looking at the new capital, you know, the base we are looking at, at all, I believe that they are already on the on the right direction. They've done private placement before now. Also, they are planning to do right issue. All this will you know will also help them to achieve the. The, the capital requirement for it to do more. But I believe that also, like I mentioned earlier, that the central banks will know that these banks are coming back to the public to ask for funds, you no know, other right issue or you no know, in, in their public offer. They have to back to the public. If the retained earnings of this bank that the shareholders have approved are not considered, I think you know, for me, we send a kind of a signal to shareholders, and that also might you know, affect the banks for raising funds for or less keeping retained between now and the two years' time because now we have almost a mm. uh, two years uh, no window to recapitalize. In the process, I think, or, or, and also come about in another uh, no direction, fine. Mm. But I believe that uh, it should give the bank a kind of, uh, you know, good uh, environment to work to raise the capital that we get to, to support their bank. All right, you mentioned Access Bank being um, a tier one, being at the top of um, the pyramid in terms of um, you know the capitalization at um, the NGX. But let's talk about Fidelity. You talked about um, them being a tier two bank. You know, I'm looking at um, the survival of banks and um, uh, you know uh, interest in terms of um, people you know re subscribing to their public offers and uh, you know trying to invest that. What can really sustain and them in terms of um, what they have done or are doing over time to ensure that they meet up with their expansion plans? I hear they are trying to expand and all of that. No, for fidelity, I think they are on the right track for now. We have seen a impressive performance for almost the past uh, no, 10 years. And recently, the last four years, we have seen a dramatic no, no, improvement in their performance. Plus, since the, the female um, the MD came on board, that really made a difference. In terms of rewarding shareholders, not only that because the current shareholder will start performing. The current shareholder shows that the bank is doing well, shows that the bank is also heading. But they are also taking steps, you know, that uh, they expand their world, they are tentacle by trying to now move outside the shop in Nigeria, acquiring a uh, you know, you know, you know, bank UK, also move to go to some African country, which is good. But I believe that it is all for them to put their world, their bottom line. For you put your bottom line, you need to spend more than because to capitalize. For me, they are already in the right track. The performance also speak for them, and also their business model. This mm -hmm. is a bank that is what I call, I call them, uh, you no know, uh, traders and uh, export uh, focus bank. Why? Because they are going to drive the the economy, the set of the economy that oil is voting. But if there is no trading, if there is no trader, there is no exporter, yeah, our economy is still be shaking. But if they are going that angle, they are thinking of traders that are bringing in and importing within Nigeria. Also, the exporters are also having advantage of what they are funding. For me, it's a good one. And if you can expand with that, that will also support them. One thing is that every investor is looking at where can I make money. And that is why for banks that are like uh, Fidelity Bank, they are taking future, that is where to start uh, taking now. Because one, they have already you know, given us a signal or a pointer where they are going, and I believe that they will get there. Because the management team are part of the owners of this bank. They go to their, you know, the book of this bank, so that most of them are part owner. And when we are part owner, we take it as their own business. That is why you see mm. all the the big companies that are today in Nigeria, look at the personality behind them. If this uh, kind of personality are behind the I see them going well, going places. All right, let's still talk about uh, the general um, field right now because I remember back in, uh, you know, about 19 years ago when this, the first talk of um, uh, capitalization uh, 
was um, done. Uh, lots of um, banks were panicky, and Nigerians were saying yeah. that that's how would know who the main players are, the active players, and who is strong exactly. and who is not strong. You know, but right now we're going to see another round of maybe mergers and acquisition. You also talked about uh, renewed capital market activity by banks, but uh, you talked about uh, acquisition of uh, Union Bank UK. Can you tell me more about that? Is it like um, a big? Uh, a uh, dream, or what do you really think? No, actually, for you to be, to be one of the international players or have a license of uh, you know, international bank in Nigeria, you need to also explain your tentacle you know, across the nation. You know, we have a category of uh, the national bank, regional bank. Since the stability is part of uh, the international bank, yes, they need to also branch out of Nigeria, get more income. So, even at this time, to help them also to push their water, anybody, any high currency, the good dollars, you know, or, or spam or, or pounds, all in there, for me, it's a good one. And also, it shows that the bank has capacity of work for carrying bigger business. And that is why I love the move of Central Bank, so the bank to solidify by raising more capital, so that they can do bigger business. Only that, the manner and the way, from that is what I'm saying. For the first time, I'm saying that, yes, you are removing the, like I'm telling you, that, you know, retain earnings from the bank. The banks also to know that once we move earnings, you know, because most of the banks already have to speak now. As we have almost 500 billion already in terms of, uh, you know, share that small, so have about trillion, you know, above trillion. But if that is being taken away, I'm going to put the banks on the, on the tight, you know, on the feet again. Mm -hmm. But don't forget that I can't take it again. I'll still repeat it now that most of these shareholders are coming back to them. And they are the ones that also that approve the retail earnings because out of their earnings, they, they pay the little or uh, some ratio to work to investors and retain the other ones to expand the business to invest. You know, for me, if they're taking it away, that's why I said between now and the next two years that they're going to be from this uh, March to the next uh, to the March, I think things will improve and will know better. But I believe that uh, for fidelity to expanding outside Africa, um, outside the Nigeria to other African countries or UK, it's a good move for them also to treat their work, their bottom line, and also strengthen what the bank of pressure. All right, Omodio, let's uh, still look at other um, facts uh, as it is right now, because I don't know in your opinion, do you see some banks going under those that cannot really uh, meet up with this requirement? Because uh, for uh, at the NGX and banking indices, uh, Access Co uh, is there, you know, uh, at the top of the pyramid, but uh, we'll talk of um, other good banks. Uh, uh, GT Bank is there. For Fidelity, they can boast of strong financial performance, efficient management, commitment to sustainability, market presence, and you talked about them focusing on the market, and uh, some people have even said it's like an evil bank, as it were, we tell lots of people, bank uh, business and traders banking there, but what would banks really need to do for those that may not be able to get these um, mergers or acquisition, uh, like um, uh, Fidelity is doing with the Union Bank and Access Co. You know, broadening its management team. No, no for me, if you look at the, the pyramid, I would say that the uh, ETI is leading, followed by you know, Zinage Bank, the four access board. For, for me, we have already seen that their category. Mm. If a bank is that yes, we can't go on with that, we can also apply for lower license for you to stay in business. But I believe that this opened up for merger and acquisition. For bigger one, but if you see that yes, you are going to become a bigger one, they want to match, want to acquire, this is the time to do it. As I said, mentioned earlier, that during the solution time, we were about the 82 banks in Nigeria. Then after that, you know, it was changed to about the 22. Today, mm -hmm. we have around that 18 or no, or no 22, or around that 22 within now. For me, it's a good one. This time is another opportunity, but because we have seen another bank in magic, we have seen that before there's no interest free bank in Nigeria. We already see three interest free banks in Nigeria already. We see those that are also you no know, regional banks. No, also some are also national bank. For me, this is the time for them to see where they can come together to become better and stronger. Also, don't forget that the regulation also going to change the structure of the ownership of the banks. I think they're going to dilute the the the, 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 the shareholding structure of the bank. And at the same time, the earnings of the bank. Because if you are going to raise more capital, that means you need to double your award, your performance. Because if you are raising more capital, you are increasing your share in issue. Now that we're saying that we're recognizing share capital and premium for what for capital, that means you need more. And it will come up for a public offer like issue. At the same time, we're expanding your world, your sharing issue, which is also going to dilute your earnings by the end of the board. The bank, this time, I'm not afraid because if you look at the policy of the CBN, and another way is indirectly affecting the world, the bank and other financial institutions. I believe that the bank is set for this, but the way they will go is what I know that most of the banks will think of. Whether we we'll go for merger or we'll go for, we'll go for to take a, a, a lower license. Or also upgrade by getting more money from the public. He decides, you know, the banks will decide where they are going. All right, uh, just uh, before we let you go now, Ambrose Omodia, let's talk about um, management structure because um, they actually play a whole lot of role in terms of um, you know, uh, investors um, you know, 
uh, interest and of course um, the, uh, the people who would actually want to you know, participate in uh, public offers and maybe rights issues and all of that. You know, uh, for some banks now, they, uh, they have uh, taken the bull by the horns. Uh, people say women are better economic managers. Banks like Access Bank, bank uh, like um, Zenit, and of course, even the Fidelity Bank, they have um, female um, you know, CEOs at the hems of affairs. So how do you really see that um, uh, coming to play in all of this? No, management for me is like, uh, well, say that the uh, employers are entering of any company, so it is management. We start, you know, effective management and, uh, you know, that are looking up the business, you get a lot of issues. But putting women at the head of affairs now, for me, you know that women are more, you know, the kind of uh, meticulous set of managing affairs. I believe that uh, in Nigeria banking, uh, you know, arena, and I was seeing a new face that the, the female are taking over, which is good. Also, want to also know the ones that have been there before now. The recent one was from my from Finnish Bank. We have seen the performance of uh, you know, the lady in uh, in uh, Fidelity have done well. We have seen the one at uh, you know, Cambic IBTC, you know, looking at their number. But we'll see more of them. That means also investors are going to work with that are so you known they are comfortable with but women, they listen more. And I believe that also because that's what they have strategy, not that because they are women, they understand the environment where they're operating, and that's why they are making impact. For me, it's a development for, for the bank that I was seeing women, you know, heading the affairs for the bank. And I believe that that will do more for the banking sector that yes, they understand the business. Women are meant to for business. Apart from me, are the one leading both. And that women they understand business perfectly. Now they are leading the banks, that will be a plus for, for all the banks. All right, thank you so much, um, um, Ambrose Omodian, for your time and, of course, all the wonderful um, uh, you know, insight that you have given concerning uh, the new peg by the central bank for uh, commercial banks and, of course, uh, what banks are doing in terms of um, capitalization and uh, you know, building um, investors' interest. Thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. That's what I've been All right, that's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akadoni. Many thanks for being there.